In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at perspective drawing in Flash. Um, I'm going to go through the introduction to motion graphics lecture as a place to learn where some of the stuff is, but perspective drawing is something that every artist has always studied some point in their life, and it's a drawing technique that allows you to represent three-dimensional images with two-dimensional picture. And so it's been used by architects for many years, and um, just takes a little bit of know-how and you can do some really neat things with this um, drawing technique. Now there are two basic types of elements in perspective drawing. There's linear perspective which deals with the organization of the shapes in space and how the lines converge and then there's aerial perspective which deals with the atmospheric effects such as the tones and colors of objects that are closer to um, the person, the viewer. So here's an example of that. This is a really nice example of a 3D rendering that shows one point perspective. So you can see all these lines, these red lines are converging to the center. And you can see that all the objects of the objects um, or all the lines of those objects are also converging at that origin point. Anyway, um, this is really showing us of course the linear perspective. To see the atmospheric perspective, if I roll over this, you'll see that it shows me a 3D rendering of it and you can notice that the colors in the back are much less saturated than the colors in the front. And that's a really good indication of how that atmospheric perspective changes. Now there are basically three different systems for perspective drawings. There's the one point perspective which allows us to have one vanishing point, two vanishing points which are along the horizon, and then a third perspective, which allows us to have a nadir as well, and um, the nadir, or nadir, I'm not really sure how they say it, but it is another point which is either up or down, depending upon your perspective, how you're looking at this object. If we had this object above the horizon, then that nadir would actually be above the horizon as well. So it does depend on how you're looking at your object for that. Um, so it's, uh, anyway, we're going to be dealing with two-point perspective for the most part because this is a little bit too complicated for most of the drawings that we do in Flash. So in two-point perspective and one-point perspective, um, I've got some examples here. For one-point perspective, definitely go to Google and, and check out some of the images and you'll find some really nice um, um, drawings here that are really good for animations. So a typical perspective that you might find is like this cityscape and this is great for animations because it's pretty simple to realize that everything is animating from that one center point which makes your drawings fairly easy to do. Now you can also use one point perspective to draw really effective um, drawings for animation like this is a background for an animation possibly and uh, one of the nice things about this is that it has um, an arch here where they could the character can enter in which means that it can be masked so that it comes into that area um, which is quite nice and then there's also the depth of going back to the to the couch or coming up to the front of this mantle here so we have some space in there to allow a depth change which could be really interesting for our animation um, if you go and look at two-point perspective, you'll find a lot of um, interesting examples. One interesting example is this, which is kind of a... Um, it kind of feels a little awkward to be looking at it with this perspective, but um, I'm sure that this is something that you've seen before. This is a little bit more of our standard style here, where um, we see the lines kind of converge here in the bottom, whereas this, the lines are kind of going off the edge, so it... it kind of gives us a, a strange feeling here. But you can see that these lines converge on a point up here, and then this one vanishes to a point that's on the outside. So typically when we do the, our perspective, the, usually the points are somewhere on the outside, rather than kind of being in the middle of our drawing, like this one is. And that, that point would be somewhere up there. So just be aware of that um, as you're working your drawings in Flash. Now in Flash, what we're going to do is open up the two-point perspective start file. And this file has um, what we need to get started with this drawing project. You'll notice that it has a horizon point, a guides layer, 
and a box. The box is going to be one of the animated boxes that we draw. Let's go ahead and open up that file and then go on to the next tutorial where we will actually create our, um, our three-dimensional box.